right behind me here is the Pegasus 8,000 litre with a 120 foot boom on it. Down from that we do a 6,000 litre tank size, we do a 5 and we also do a 4,000 with boom configurations of 21 metres right through to 36 metre. One of the main features on here is the actual lack of weight we put on the drawbar of the tractor and we achieve that by the axle position of the sprayer and also what we call an air ride drawbar system. So we've got a massive chassis uh, underneath this unit. It has a drawbar in the front of it with an air ride airbag in the front. We are running axle airbag suspension under the back, all off a 12 volt compressor. At the end of the day, we're putting very little weight on the drawbar of the tractor. This unit here in the 8000 range, we're all hydraulically driving the pumps on them. There's no more PDO shafts involved. Boom configuration is full hydraulic lift and fold with the option of putting hydraulic wing lift on it, which is fitted to the unit here. We've got individual left and right hand wing lift on the boom. We do that by electric over hydraulics, so we're running a switch box in the cab which handles all our boom folding, unfolding, half folding, wing lift functions. Also on this unit we've got fitted the hydraulic driven fresh water fill pump. So basically we've got the uh, capabilities there of uh, filling from a water source wherever we are in the paddock. Providing we've uh, got water available, we've got our own hydraulic fill pump. Very simple to use, we have now upgraded, we've gone to a 100 litre chemical hopper. We're still on a standard drop down leg. A matter of pushing a lever, down the hopper comes. So we've gone up from 60 litres to 100, bigger hopper, bigger machine. Customers were requesting that uh, we went to a bigger hopper. We've done that for them. With the rotary valve system, we've got a white valve, a green valve and a blue valve. We're referring to them as a filling valve an operations valve and a suction valve. It's all laid out very clear and simple. Fill main tank, fill flush tank, fill chemical hopper. So nice and clear. As I said, they're just rotary valves, depending on what you want to do, what function you want. Another highlight of this sprayer is the ability that we can actually flush the whole boom. We can roll the taps over to do a boom flush on it. We're pulling water out of the flushing system, putting it through the spray pump, through all the spray manifold, through our boom nozzles but nothing is being returned back into the main tank. We have a filling filter, nice and easy to access. Then on the suction side, we've got a suction filter. There again, just tucked in here at the back, nice and easy to access, to clean out. Then on the pressure side, situated here on the chassis, we've got our pressure filter. So all three main filters are here, easy to get to. And then on the boom itself, we just run inline boom section filters. Inside the hopper we do actually have a drum rinse nozzle, so where you're using your 20 litre drums, you can actually rinse them, triple rinse them, get rid of them. We do have a hopper rinse, so when we're finished with the hopper we can put the lid down, open a tap on top, completely rinse the hopper out, before we uh, put the catches back on, lift him back up and lock him into position.